The new 2018 iPad Pro is a spectacle of engineering, with a brilliant design and a chip so powerful that it gives even the most premium laptops a run for their money. In this video, we're going to look specifically at performance to see if it's worth upgrading or buying the new 2018 iPad Pro instead of last year's 10.5 inch iPad Pro at a discounted price. Since both 11 inch and 12.9 inch sizes of iPad Pros are equipped with the same A12X Bionic chip, we're going to use the 11 inch model for this test. We're also not using the 1TB model that packs 6GB of RAM instead of 4, but if you've got over $1500 to spend on it, you should see a little bit better performance overall, like in video editing and photo editing when using many different layers. Let's get right into some benchmarks before we do some video and photo editing export tests. Starting with Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark, we're getting a 27% better score in the single core test. In multi-core, which is what really matters, we're getting a 90% higher score on the new iPad Pro. In fact, that's close to the performance of the best processor option in the 2017 5K iMac. And to think that a 5.9mm tablet is getting this much raw performance is incredible. Now with Geekbench 4's graphics test, we're only seeing an increase of around 36%. Now don't get me wrong, that's outstanding considering how much the 10.5 inch iPad Pro improved over the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. In fact, the new 11 inch iPad Pro score is only a couple of thousand points behind the graphics chip in the base 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro, a laptop that cost $2400. However, the 36% increase is nowhere near the doubling in graphics performance that Apple claimed during the keynote. So let's run some more graphics tests starting with Antutu's benchmark. The new iPad Pro scored over twice as high as the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Now that's absolutely insane and we're definitely seeing the doubling in graphics performance here since it's a graphics test. In fact, the new iPad Pro set a new record for the benchmark, which was previously broken by the iPhone XS Max when it scored 363,000 points in our testing. So Apple is currently way ahead of the market in terms of phone and tablet performance. Now running Antutu's HTML5 test, the new iPad Pro scored 20% higher than the old model, which isn't that big of a difference, but it's the highest score in that test that we've ever seen. Now onto another browser benchmark, Octane 2.0. The 11 inch iPad Pro scored 31% higher than the 10.5 inch Pro. Now that's the kind of improvement we want to see. So based on these browser benchmarks, you might see a small improvement while using Safari, but it's nothing to write home about. We then ran Basemark's Metal Graphics test, and the 11 inch iPad Pro scored over twice as high as the 10.5 inch iPad Pro, once again proving Apple's claims of two times graphics performance to be true. Finishing off with our final graphics test, GFX Bench's 1080p Manhattan off screen test, the new 11 inch iPad Pro scored 133% higher than the 10.5 inch model, substantially more than double the score. These improvements are actually shocking seeing as the 10.5 inch iPad Pro was already outperforming so many other devices in the market. Now let's see if these benchmark improvements can translate into the real world starting with a video editing test. We took a 1 minute 4K at 60 frames per second project with an added filter and exported it to 1080p using Adobe Rush. The 11 inch iPad Pro finished exporting in only 2 minutes and 56 seconds compared to 6 minutes and 10 seconds on the 10.5 inch iPad Pro. Again, that's more than twice as fast, so it's actually very impressive to see the benchmark improvements carry over into real world applications. Now for photo editing, which doesn't really use much of the graphics chip, we exported 50 edited JPEG images in Adobe Lightroom CC. The 11 inch iPad Pro finished in 2 minutes and 33 seconds, while the 10.5 inch iPad Pro finished in 2 minutes and 58 seconds. So there really isn't much of a difference here, even though the processor is much more powerful on the new iPad Pro. While editing the photos themselves, we noticed that the UI was more responsive and applying effects and things like that was noticeably faster on the new iPad Pro, but to be honest, the 10.5 inch iPad Pro was already fast enough while editing. Overall, we're extremely pleased with the performance of the new iPad Pro. High end desktop level performance in a tablet that's only 5.9mm thick is unheard of. These kind of numbers have sparked ideas of Apple implementing ARM processors into their Macs sometime in the future. Now there's a lot of work that needs to be done before that happens, but if it does, we'll be here making videos. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos when they come. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.